Hey folks, Post here, welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and, uh, we're gonna do a bit of a makeup video here, well, not exactly, like, for the video that, that, you know, that had some issues with it, and no, it's not, like, an actual, like, makeup video, that would be terrifying, I don't know anything about makeup, so, um, yeah, uh, this morning I did upload a Balville video, and I just want to address that for a second, um, uh, apparently the audio was incredibly loud, the in-game audio, and uh so, so that's why i have it private so for those of you who are asking why is the video private why is the video private well it had some audio issues and i i did take it down and um i have identified the problem um it, it's an issue with relaunching the capture card in obs and then obs i uh, you know what you guys <laughs> probably don't care about the deals but anyway um conclusion is i found the issue it's fixed it should be fine now hopefully so, anyways, um, uh, today we're gonna go ahead and check out some ways to farm Acerola orbs, uh, before Acerola drops. So, um, Acerola is, uh, by the way, Acerola is sacred, first of all. It should be coming out tonight, um, along with the Ghost Type training event. And here's the thing about Acerola. She is one of the hardest sync pairs to farm for sync orbs for. I, I won't, I won't say the hardest, because I think the hardest would be Torchic or Metacham, right? But she's pretty, pretty hard to farm Sync Orbs for. Also, probably Eevee. Like, how would you farm Sync Orbs for Eevee, honestly? Uh, but since, since she never sinks, right? But yeah, it's real, extremely hard to farm uh, sync, uh, sync Orbs for uh, due to the fact that she's uh, t terrible. <laughs> she's terrible. Um, it's going to be super, super hard for her to sink in most case scenarios. Uh, it's going to be super hard for her to even take out enemies. And like, here's the thing. If you have anyone else helping Acerola attack, uh, you know, if you have any, anything stronger like a Charizard or whatever, uh, Acerola won't sink. They'll just sink with Charizard instead or whatever, right? And if you have, like, two weak um, Pokemons around you, um, well, first of all, there's no such thing as two weak Pokemons around, around um, Acerola because Acerola would still not be that helpful, and it'll just be the other two Pokemon destroying the stage without getting the chance to sink. Um, so I did find, however one way of doing it so where that acerola perfectly sinks on the kill turn right so that's you know when you sink on the turn that you kill right that is generally the fastest uh method uh you know um aside from rng on on you know breathtaking refreshes right and that is actually on i think i think tech doesn't work but either strike or support hard um, training courses and you have to do this specifically um, in this fashion where you have Eevee and Acerola and Eevee has to not learn Iron Tail and this is why I did not learn Iron Tail because no use giving her Iron Tail you're not going to use her for damage anyways and Iron Tail is like a bad move to begin with it's like what 70% accuracy or something and it's kind of bad um and there's just no point using it because it's you know when you do play uh with ai sometimes um well not sometimes a lot of times the ai would just use iron tail instead of whatever move that would be much more helpful which in this case is tackle right or acer or you know whoever else's moves and that just, just completely kills leaf's ai so we're gonna go in with leaf and acerola with leaf not learning iron tail um, it's the same thing with Will not learning, you know, Air Slash, right? Um, there are certain units where do, you do not want them to learn certain moves just for the AI auto system, right? And, and EV is, is one of those. Um, it would be really, really nice if they let us unlearn moves. That would help a lot. Um, I already sent that feedback to, to DNA. Hopefully, they uh, they do listen to it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, at the moment, there's no other way uh, to do it. And hey, there you go. Sinks right on the kill, which is the fastest method um, you could do. Not just with Acer, all with, like, any sync pair, right? So, there you go. Um, hard courses. I think it works on both uh, strike and support. I think tech dies one turn too early for this uh, to work. So, I I guess, uh, you know, just don't do it on tech, but strike and support should work. For those of you who did, however, unfortunately learn um, Iron Tail with Eevee, I guess you could try this. Okay, l l let's try this now. Um, some Someone told us this works, uh, but um, I haven't tried it myself yet, so 
let's let's try just using ace roll by herself no eevee um i would assume it takes a lot more turns just because in comparison to tackle astonish just does not do any damage at all <laughs> yeah whoa i i i wouldn't do this i probably wouldn't do this like here's the thing like would you be able to complete this um successfully with a sync move off yes you probably would since you know the opponent does like no damage to you but this is taking forever <laughs> as you can see and especially since you know i i guess this is probably not the best age to do it maybe you could try like tech or or support just because the pincer kind of sort of heals himself but yeah this is taking a while um but this is a you, you could do this like it's it's not like unviable at all you could do this uh, but hopefully, once the ghost type training um, event drops, there would be a better stage to do this uh, to do this with, and I'm pretty sure there would be, right? Just going in with Acerola by herself, um, since everyone else sinks. Okay, so there's one more method that I do want to um, show you guys, and I think it's like slightly better than the other one. Um, let's let's go in with it. So we're gonna do Acerola and Torchic. And Torchic, because Torchic is just in so incredibly weak that, like, the sync move just does not do any damage. But Torchic does have a three bar, or not three bar, two bar move, Flamethrower, so that you guys don't lose against <laughs> this this course either, right? So it's it's a good medium, it seems, right? And, uh, actually, I forgot, is it super hard or very hard? Um, might be escaping me for a second. But anyways, I'll, let's just watch, watch it play out. It, it does seem like, um, it, I, I got this one right. It should be this one, I think. Ouch. And Yay. Um yeah, Torchic should draw aggro. I was like I was thinking what? Why did Sand Castle why why did Palisand just draw aggro for but you know pa Palisand uses the um the move to draw aggro, so uh which is you know, one of its of its I guess better features. Oh wait, huh, that's weird. When I was testing it, Torchic did not sink. I guess don't do this then. I guess just go with, um, I guess this, this isn't reliable. It's not safe. Um, that I'd probably just go with just, you know, Ace Rolla, uh, by herself. We have to like a hard course. Let's, let's, let's try one of the other ones. Again, I don't think strike, strike is that great for it. Let's start, uh, let's try tech. Tech, we're against, um, Karen, right? Yeah. Just because, um, Nolan does heal. So it does take a few extra turns to take it out, right? All right, let, let's let's try it on tech. Tech should be much better. And again, you know the the EV without Iron Tail um, method with Ace Roll is probably well not probably the best. Uh, is still the best. Um, if you are trying to do this on auto, right? Ouch, but not really. Um, yeah, it takes. So, like, I know it's a one bar move, but like 40, 45 damage, man, <laughs> per hit. Uh, that's kind of sad. Not kind of sad. It, it is sad. All right, here comes the sync move. That should take it out, hopefully. And it does. And after that, you get a slight uh, buff from the sync move boost. I, I, yeah, it's it's the same amount of turns. I don't think it matters then. I don't think it matters. Maybe try support, but I, I won't be trying them all. Um, there's one more thing I do have to go over, which is probably the well not probably it is the quickest way to do this which is not doing auto at all just well not it's semi-auto semi-auto semi-manual um which is generally what i do for for these uh for for syncorp grinding right uh we'll just go in acerola and we'll just put in whatever i wouldn't say whatever just some other pokemon in there mm, and we need mew I guess maybe not sub touch in this case it attacks. Uh, yeah, let's do Mew and Acerola. And whatever other Pokemon, right? You, you just need one more there just to, for the sync move. And just do it manually. Just do it manually. Manually, it's the safest. It you know it just comes in. Although with manual, you probably want to um, turn on battle animations just in case you, uh, y you know, you don't turn off auto quick enough and it just takes out your opponent. Just, again, as usual, just manual do this battle again do that over and over again until you get syncorp drops and then stop the auto which with battle animations turned on you do have enough time 
to take off auto and then start doing, you know, spamming these non-damaging attacks. So then you get your sync move, and then after you sync move, you sync with roll, and then just keep on autoing. So, anyways, um, that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know, guys, what you uh, what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys have any better uh, methods at the moment. Um, obviously, once the Ghost Type Training event does come out, it should be a bit better for solo Acerola, just you know, without any other Pokemon, just putting Acerola in there. Um, so that that definitely would help. And uh, yeah, anyways, again, um, that's me for this one. I will be streaming some more Mystery Dungeon. I think today at let's say around 7 p.m. tonight and I'll stream that all the way until Sabrina does drop on the game and, and we'll be doing live summons as well so anyways I'll see you guys till then